Want to find out more about dinosaurs in Yorkshire? We'll be talking to one of Britain's leading experts. Now then, we all know a thing or two about dinosaurs, but let's face it, most of what we know probably comes from big box office hits like Jurassic Park, and chances are you probably couldn't name a dinosaur that's native to the British Isles. Well, that's something Dean Lomax from Doncaster wants to change. He's the resident paleontologist at the Towns Museum and has just published the first ever book about native British dinosaurs. He joins us now and he has a footprint of one of them here. Look at that. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at this. So if we hold that, just Dean, we're just going to hold it to camera two there. And just tell us, this is from Whitby, this one, this isn't is, it? Yeah, I found this one uh, earlier this year. So this is actually the dinosaur uh, impression. Of a, of a footprint so if you take a close look we'll right here there you can see there's one of the toe impressions there there's the other and there's the other one too so dean i don't know a lot but i bet so, that's not a t-rex is it no it's not he's, he's a tiny little guy who made this a very small probably a small meat-eating dinosaur wow Interesting. Now, my lad, he's 11 years old, he wants to be a paleontologist. I say to him, well, I hope there's some money in it, son. You had an unusual <laughs> route into paleontology. Yeah. What, what's the fascination for you and how did you get into it? Um, quite literally, I was just interested in paleontology and fossils and dinosaurs since, yeah, really, really young. And I just wanted to, to forge a career in something which I found so fascinating. So I've just literally worked now uh, in the field for about seven years, uh, working across over in the USA, over in Europe and all across the British Isles, working with so many fascinating uh, fossils and meeting uh, a huge variety of people. Along and the way. You want people to know more about British dinosaurs, don't you? Yeah, I do, because I could ream off a whole, whole bunch of names, Tyrannosaurus <laughs> rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, all names we're very familiar with. Well, they're all, they're all the North American and, and Asian representatives. Yet I could also say these, these animals like Nothetes or Baryonyx, which actually, actually we have a, Ooh, a replica hand-carved claw of, uh, of the dinosaur Baryonyx. Uh, Baryonyx was found in 1983 uh, in, uh, in a quarry in Surrey. And this is one of the, the, the biggest uh, theropods in Europe, one of these big meat-eating dinosaurs. Probably about 9 metres, 10 metres in length. Wow. So wow. quite a beastie. <laughs> so Dean, what used to wander around uh, Yorkshire back in the day? Well, around Yorkshire, uh, quite surprisingly, we don't actually have that many um, great dinosaur bones, but what we do have are so many, lots and lots, probably thousands of footprints. Now, with the footprints, we're actually able to understand that there's probably about six or seven different types, a uh, variety of, of footprints, and they've all been created by several uh, different types of uh, dinosaur, from the really big ones, the long-necked uh, sauropods, to the theropods as well. You see some of them on the screen there now, but uh, clearly it's a fascinating subject. And, and your book, you've got a book about some of these, these beasts that yep. roamed our soil. That, that's it. Yeah, so the book has just literally been, uh, been published on the 30th of June by Siri Scientific Press based in Manchester. And the book covers over 100 species of which have been described. This is individual species of dinosaur yeah. which have been described in the British Isles alone. And, you know, this is from fragmentary remains to near complete skeletons. So many fantastic dinosaurs have been discovered. Brilliant. The T-Rex has had its day, Dean. It has had its <laughs> day, convinced. yeah. Thanks Definitely. so much. Thank, Thank you. Much. You should come into our office. Plenty of dinosaurs <laughs> stalking the corridors of the BBC. <laughs> Steady on.